Hi, I'm Tian Andrews. I'm Anthony Andrews. And together we are, we are Parable. And we've been working with the Barbican and the London Film Festival to provide a number of free screenings and provide free tickets for people to see the film Mangrove, the first in Small Acts, the anthology by Steve McQueen. We thought it was really important to um, offer opportunities for black audiences to see this because we feel that, especially with the story of Mangrove, that it's a potential story that people might not be aware of. It's such an important part of black British history and we were working with the Barbican and London Film Festival to ensure that as many people got to see this amazing film as possible. My thoughts on Mangrove was it was very uncanny in terms of the parallels from the 60s to present day. Um, as I was watching it, I was just drawing loads of similarities as to what's going on at the moment. It opened my eyes to what used to go on, but as the fact that the restaurant closed in 92, I thought that's quite recent. I was at one when that happened. so. But yeah, it was very interesting, an eye opener as well. It was just really interesting to see things that clearly happened 50 odd years ago still occurring now. Um, and it was an expression of the microaggressions that we all have to deal with in society now, just magnified and amplified on screen. So it was really, really important to see that. I love the fact that, especially on a global platform, this is being shown because people don't know black British history. They don't realise that there are black people in Britain. I've lived abroad and I know when they're like, oh, there are black people in Britain. It's like, yes, we do live here too. We're a part of the community. And I think it's just really important that this is something that's being amplified. And especially in a time like this, that is so timely and people don't hear our stories. A lot of American stories kind of overshadow that of everyone else. So that was nice and encouraging to see. I think it's important for a film like Mangrove to open the film festival because, um, like, as I said previously, it's not only is it a look back on black history, history in the UK, history in London, it's also touching on issues that people are going through today. Those who are maybe a little more ignorant to the fact that there is still a struggle can see that it isn't just back in the day and these things are still very present. It's convenient that it's in Black History Month, so it's given the recognition that it deserves and, and the platform that it deserves, but I think it's just really important to finally pass the mic on to black voices that don't really get this platform otherwise. It's time, as they said. It's, it's what was it, closing? Was yeah, it? it's closing time? Yeah, it's closing yeah. time. I can't remember what he kept saying, but I, I think it's time. It's time for these stories to be told. I think it's a good idea to open the London Fall Festival to basically give people insight into what, what was going on and what is presently going on um, and also even the younger generation to understand what their parents and their grandparents went through to understand that we're here now we're still struggling but they went through a lot more than we did. I think it's a really good way to educate everybody in understanding the plight and what everyone is working towards um, and a, I think it gives a better understanding that is digestible to everyone when it's put in film format Yeah. because not everybody picks up a book. <laughs> so. Watching a film or a TV series is probably one of like the most easiest ways for people to like engage and understand things when they see it visually. Yeah. So um, yeah, I think yeah, that's probably why it's really important to open. So we're here at the Barbican and it might not be recognisable to you because there's no people here, but that's because we are socially distancing and following uh, government guidelines on um, keeping the venue COVID secure as much as possible. Although the future of cinema seems uncertain at the moment and uh, the experience of going to cinema might have changed we are still committed to providing the best experiences for our audiences no matter where that is whether that's in a venue space such as this or online because we believe in experience over everything. <laughs> <laughs>